stranger here because for a good many years I used to come down here. I haven't been here for seven years, but on my coming back, I have firmly resolved not to make it the last time. The president-elect finishes his impromptu talk and prepares to drive on to the railway station when... The startled onlookers suddenly realize what has happened. Pandemonium reigns, and the crowd, led by American legionnaires in their glistening helmets, counts of assassin Zangara. William Sinnott, one of the injured, makes his way out of the crowd on the left. Mayor Cermak, critically wounded, is carried to Mr. Roosevelt's car. Resting in the arms of the president-elect, he is rushed to a hospital. They've got him! The Secret Service man load him on the rear of the car and hustle him away to jail. And now, the heroine. The woman whose courage all the world applauds. She probably saved Mr. Roosevelt's life by deflecting the assassin's aim. Mrs. W.F. Cross of Miami. Crazy man. My first thought was to get it. I knew he was shooting at the president, so my first thought was to get the pistol up in the air so he wouldn't hurt any of the bystanders. <laughs> Why you killed Mr. Roosevelt? What for in your mind? I told you before. I have all time. Capitalist. All time in the mine, I get a capitalist to kill me. I suffer from this thing in the stomach for the capitalist. So no for the capitalist, I know I have this sickness in my stomach. He make you work. He make me work. Joe, you get a chance tonight. You would shoot the president tonight? I can't shoot no more. If you give you a chance. I should give you a chance, I should, again. Yeah. You hate, you don't like him for president. That's all. As a man, he's all right. As a man, he's all right. As a president, he's all right. <laughs>